what is up how are you doing everybody i hope you're doing well and today's tutorial i want to show you how to create simple split screen effect as well as adding a divider and animate using final cut pro 10. all right here we have two sample clips each clip has a different angles. I provide a link in the description below as always. So what we're gonna do first is to put this one into the top of the first clip. Second is to disable the top clip for now by simply right click and select disable or you can press V for the shortcut. The next is to select the bottom clip, then open the inspector, go to transform and under position parameter, need to use the Y axis. But before we transform, be sure that the subject that you want to split is in the exact frame. So what we're gonna do now is click and hold the Y axis and you can bring it down or you can bring it up until the frame that you need is in the right position. So for this one, we need to bring it down. Once you're happy, proceed to cropping tools and under top parameter, crop it until where you want it to be okay and then this time enable the top clip by simply select right click again and select enable then the same process go to transform and then position y axis this time we need to bring it up to make them separated and then proceed to cropping tools and then this time under bottom parameter crop it and just like that we created a super simple split screen effect between two different clips and then if you want to make it look better or a bit professional there's something you could do this is what i'm saying earlier that we need to add a divider and animate the most simple way to do that is to still select the top clip and then go to cropping tools under bottom parameter bring it up a little bit higher and now as you can see there is a black divider between the two clips or if you don't like the black color we need to change it by simply adding a solids okay so to do that open the browser and then go to text and then select generators and then you can find solids select the custom one so you can drag and drop underneath the two layer then uh, make sure you selected the custom then go to inspector under generator inspector here we can change the color that you want so for this one i will choose the yellow and then after we've created a divider and change the color next is to animate so what we need to do is select the top clip again make sure that the playhead is in the beginning zoom it a little bit by simply pressing command plus okay start counting 10 frames using the right arrow key so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then after that go to position parameter and then add keyframe select this one then go back to the timeline bring the blade to the beginning of the clip then head back to position under y axis click and hold and bring it up totally out of the frame the same procedure in the bottom clip then start counting again 10 frames using the right R key okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then go to position add keyframe bring it back to the beginning and then go back to the position and in y axis for this time we need to bring it down and make sure it's out of the frame as well all right um let me show you what we've got here and there you go we've created a split screen that has a divider and animation and if you notice we have a horizontal way of splitting the screen now if you want to create in a vertical way of splitting the screen you need to use the x axis in position parameters and in cropping tools you will use the left and right parameters and the rest is almost the same or identical procedure okay and there you have it i hope you learned something new today if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't thank you for watching i'm exville and i will see you again next time